so I'd like to say a few words about a dog with a swelling below his eye. Um, a lot of times people will see uh, swelling come up underneath the dog's eye. It may or it may not be tender, although I must say most of the time it is. And that's a good thing because if they get a tender swelling underneath the eye, that is almost always what is known as a tooth root abscess. That's a bacterial infection at the base of the tooth that's up in the roots of that tooth. And it's the maxillary premolar. Maxilla means the uh, upper jaw, and the premolar is the great big shearing tooth called the carnassial tooth. Hopefully I'll have a picture of a carnassial tooth I can show you. But uh, tooth root abscess is the, uh, the abscessation of the roots or root of the carnassial tooth, and it causes a hard uh, but painful swelling underneath the eye on the side that's affected. So what do you do about it? Well, um, this, so it's not an easy thing. So I kind of have a practice protocol. And owners can change that, um, and, I, and let me, I'll explain what that means. What I typically will do when a dog comes in with that swelling, is, especially if it's tender, is I will assure them that it is a tooth root abscess. If the swelling is not tender, it's not so easy to say that because cancer can be a thing. Uh, cancers in the maxilla of dogs are not that rare. As oral tumors go, that would be the more common place for them to show up, would be in the maxilla around the premolar. But if it's tender, I'll tell them that it is a tooth root abscess, and we'll try an anti-inflammatory, usually non-steroidal, and we'll try an antibiotic to bring the swelling down, killing the germs there. And that works 95% of the time. Owners can mitigate that by saying, I, I don't want to treat that with an antibiotic. I want the tooth out. And that's fine. That's cool. We'll section it and uh, pull it out. Cut the tooth into three pieces and pull each of the roots out individually. That's how you do it. Um, and that gets rid of the problem. The majority of clients, though, they'll say, let's go ahead with the antibiotic and the anti-inflammatory, see how things go, and we'll take the swelling down. The dog will be comfortable, and the tooth will heal. And I would say that slightly more than half of the teeth will come back as a problem in subsequent months. It may be six months. It may be a year. It may be three years before you see that uh, tooth root acting up again. But 60% it, it, of the time, maybe 70% of the time, that tooth is going to come back as a problem. And what I tell the client is that the second time around, if it happens, is when you kind of need to pull that tooth because it's showing chronicity and that it wasn't just a one-time thing. And so that would be, if it shows up a second time, that would be uh, the time that I would go ahead and extract that tooth. And then uh, I can recall a case that came up a second time and I was talking with the client and I said, well, you know, we talked about if it happens again that we should go ahead and pull the tooth and they had relatives coming in to town and things were going to be really busy for a holiday and they were like, well, can we just treat one more time with an antibiotic and an anti-inflammatory? And I was like, sure, that you know, it's expedient and effective, and yeah, so we did, and it went away. And, I mean, it came back six or eight months later, and we went ahead and removed the tooth, but all I'm saying is that you don't have to pull the tooth uh, as long as it's coming under control and becoming comfortable with other treatments. And then there's dogs that are 14 years old that... Uh, the owner naturally does not want to spend a considerable sum of money having a tooth out of that nature, um, and they will treat with the antibiotic and the uh, Deramax or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory every six months or whenever it shows up, and that's fine too. Um, proper diagnosis is with um, x-rays, a dental specialist will often have the ability to make x-rays that demonstrate the roots of these teeth and you can very often you can see changes in the density of the bone around the roots to tell actually which root and where the infection is and what the severity is so that's kind of neat um, I like dental specialty work and I refer there when the finances permit um, 
And removing a carnassial tooth isn't always a dental specialist kind of a job, but if you want to be absolutely sure that the roots are out, they can confirm that radiographically, and it's kind of nice. Uh, it's also $1,500 or more uh, for that, and so a lot of clients are uh, they choose a more expedient removal uh, with a regular bed, and that's fine too. Anyway, so I just wanted to address the subject of the swelling underneath the eye and the difference between a painful swelling and a non-painful swelling, wherein the painful swelling is usually a tooth root abscess and a non-painful swelling stands to be potentially a cancer, merits a little bit more of a diagnostic workup, maybe even a sedated exam. And the treatment for a tooth root abscess is very often an anti-inflammatory and an antibiotic, um, at least the first time. And then if the tooth comes back as a problem later, um, it suggests that it's going to be a chronic problem and removal of the tooth is the most recommended. If you have any questions, um, use the contact form in my website, drjohnson.com, and ask the doc. Thank you for your kind attention.